Hey Webflow users, this video is on how to add alternative payment methods with Stripe Checkout to your Webflow website. Uh, there was a specific question where someone was having a hard time with Webflow e-commerce with Ideal and Bank Contact. And so we're gonna cover those two, Ideal and Bank Contact with Stripe Payment Links. So it's March, 2022, and a couple weeks ago, Stripe released support on their Stripe Payment Links for 20 payment methods, including Ideal and Bank Contact. The Stripe payment links are really a simple way to embed just a button and link it and open Stripe checkout. It's really an innovation because in the past you had to use a lot of custom checkout code that you either wrote or you had a developer write or you had an app like ours, Paid Members app, write the code for you. But let me show you this example Webflow website. So I have a buy now button made by a Stripe payment link and a buy now button made by custom Stripe checkout code. So if your customer comes to your website and clicks the buy now button, they get redirected to Stripe checkout. So here we have my amazing product and you can see they can pay with Google Pay or they can pay with a card or they can pay with bank contact or ideal. So one of the things you can do with custom checkout code is you can make it so it's just, you can pull off card and Google Pay. So let me show you that example. Back on the pricing page, I'm gonna click the buy now button made with custom checkout code. And you can just do a lot more with custom code. You can just kind of program it to do what you want. So in that, in this button, I've just, I've pulled off um, credit cards and there's no Google Pay. There's just bank contact and ideal. That's all you wanna do. You'd wanna use custom checkout code. So let me go over one, a payment through each of these, go through the whole flow of a payment so you can see how it works. And then I'll go over some advanced features. So I'm clicking the Stripe payment link and I'm gonna choose bank contact. And let me put in just adam at test.com for the email. And I'll just put adam and my last name is just test for this example. Okay, and what Stripe's gonna do is they're re gonna redirect you to a page where you can either authorize the test payment or fail the test payment. This would be skipped on a live payment. There's also a note about, a about asynchronous payments. So if you use an app like ours, we're always listening for webhooks for events from your Stripe account that you connect to us. You just need a standard Stripe account you can connect in a couple seconds through our app. We're listening for when the customer pays you. So I'm gonna authorize this test payment and we're just gonna show a confirmation page. So you can set a confirmation page or a redirect URL on your Stripe payment button so you can redirect back to a page on your website. If you're using an app like ours, we can actually send out a welcome email to your customer and if you want to send that email, it would come and look something like this. And it says, hi, Adam Test, because that's the name I used. And you can customize the text however you want and include a link. When your customers click there, they'll be redirected back to your website and we pop up a complete sign form. So we pull their name from their billing details, but they can, um, they can change it if they want to use a different name for you as a member. Uh, than they did on their credit card form or on their bank contact form in this case. So I'm just gonna put in a password. You can also customize these forms to add questions. If you have custom questions, I have just have one example. What is your favorite color? So I'll say my favorite color is red. And this allows your customers to log in and manage their own account, which is really great if you're scaling your business. Some people who work with us are selling like videos or audio and members only areas that are that's embedded into the website. Other people are like shipping a physical product, like a monthly subscription model. So we, we list out all the pages and you can make rules that when they buy this product, they get access to this tier or group of pages. And then we list all the pages there and you can customize the order and show or not show different pages. I'm gonna skip that for now and just go to the profile page. You can also skip that my account page and go right to the profile page if you don't have members only areas. Customers here can um, manage all their information. And we also have a billing details form now we show the product they ordered and we don't have a payment method because it was bank con contact. Okay, so I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna show you that same flow, but with um, custom card, custom code that you make inside Paid Members app. And one thing we can do is we can associate a uh, payment with the existing customer, which is the note that you just saw there. And I'm gonna click it again and the, it's gonna just go to Stripe checkout just like you saw before. And in this example, I pulled off the card and Google Pay, so it's just ideal and bank contact are the only um, methods of payment. Eve, let's say Eve at test.com, ooh, Eve at test.com, we have Adam and Eve. So let's say Eve test is this customer. And one cool thing that you can do with custom checkout is we can redirect back to that page so you can skip the whole email. Here's this uh, 
page to authorize the test payment. And now you'll see you're getting redirected back to the website rather than that custom message. And we pop up this complete sign up form directly. So immediately after payment, you don't have to actually send an email. Um, I'm gonna put in a password here. And Eve's favorite color is blue. Okay, and now I'm in the My Account form. I'm gonna go to the Profile form. And in this case, because we created it with custom code, this is now gonna not just be our form, it's gonna redirect when clicked to Stripe Customer Portal. And the customer was created, and because they pay with bank contact, there's no payment method attached here because they didn't use a credit card. And you can customize the customer portal however you want with your own branding, logo, et cetera. Okay, and let me show you some advanced features. Uh, if you're using Paid Members app, we also allow you to add a login form. So here's a login form so your customers can log in and if they forget their password, et cetera, they can go through the forget password flow. And if you have free signups, if you happen to have people who want, you want people to sign up for free rather than using a payment button, they can use a sign up form that you can add. Again, it's optional to your website. And let's say I have some members only areas in my website with members only videos or text. If I click there, the login form pops up because I'm not logged in and I don't have access to that. So let me log in as Eve at test.com who does have access to this page. I hope that I got our password right there. And now I'm gonna log in. We logged in successfully. And you can see we have this My Account form which shows what pages she has access to. And if I click members only, she can access this page. And I just put some more Ipsum text and like a video that would be a members only video. Okay, so that covers some of the basics of a Stripe payment link and a custom Stripe checkout code. Oh, but we'll probably, let's show you how to do this. So um, let me show you on the simple site that I created how to do it. So I'm in my Webflow editor and we're on the pricing page. Okay, so let's make a uh, buy now one-time payment with ideal and bank contact. So I'm gonna say add a container, whoops, and then I'm gonna move it up. I'm actually not the best with uh, the Webflow editor yet. Okay, let's put it down here. So um, let's take this, du let's say duplicate, right? Okay, and then let's move this down here. So we have a Stripe payment link down here we're gonna make, and then I'm just gonna say add. Yeah, I'm gonna open up basic, and I'm gonna just add this button in, and um, let me add a container below it. I'm gonna take this button and we're just gonna say, by now, centering buttons, there we go. We're gonna center that. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on it and just click the gear icon and they just ask for a URL. So all we need to do is put a URL in there and publish, so where do we get that URL? Well, go ahead and log into your Stripe account. Okay, here I am at stripe.com, so you log into your Stripe account or if you don't have an account, you can create a free account in a couple seconds. Okay, I'm logged into this special account I created just for testing Bank Connect and Ideal. And um, one thing you can do is you can click on the gear icon and you can go to payment methods. So depending on what payment methods you've turned on, uh, define what's gonna appear uh, using Stripe payment links. So I've turned on Bank Contact and Ideal for this in test mode. And then you're gonna wanna make a payment link. So you can either search for payment links, payment links, and it'll show you it's in payment, payment links. You can click there or just go to payments and click on payment links down here. Okay, you can see I have two products. So I'm gonna choose this one-time product. I'm gonna get that URL. I'm gonna go back to Webflow. I'm just gonna paste in that URL and click away. And now I'm gonna publish. Okay, and then when I look at my live site on the bottom here, I have this buy now button. And when I click it, it just opens Stripe Checkout. And there you have bank contact and ideal and also a card and Google Pay. And if you want to use custom checkout code, let me show you that option as well. Um, so let me take this, say duplicate, right? Duplicate, bear with me as I learn the Webflow editor. Okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna center that and then we're gonna add the button down here. Yeah, and I'm gonna take that button and I'm going to center that button as well. And um, just for my own sanity, I'm gonna put a bunch of margin below it <laughs> to move it up a little bit. Okay, so now um, we're just gonna say buy now and that too. Okay, so if you're using our app to make custom code, the one thing you need to do is you have to give this button an ID. So I'm gonna click on it and let's see, click on that and then it says ID. So I'm gonna make this ID 4141. Okay, so the ID is 4141. 
Okay, and then I'll just go into uh, paid members app. Okay, and we're in paid members app, setup checklist, payment buttons, and you can make a payment link. This will just redirect to Stripe or payment links, but we're gonna create custom um, checkout code. So this is a one-time payment. So I'm gonna use a new checkout button. So the button name is uh, my amazing product. This is just for you. So if you can edit the button in the future, if you wanna make small changes, we're gonna use a button that already exists. You can create a button and it'll be in the default um, Stripe styling, but we're gonna use a button that already exists. So here it says Webflow button style. Yes, I wanna use one of my existing Webflow, Webflow buttons. So all we need is that ID. So it was 4141. Okay, so I'm gonna create button code and I'm just gonna copy this code. Okay, so what do we do with this code snippet? What do we do with this code snippet? Okay, so we go to here and what we're gonna want is to choose components and embed code. And so I'm just gonna drag this embed code, place it at the bottom of the page and I'm just gonna paste in that code we copied from the app, save and close. Okay, here I am on that uh, site and we have that Stripe payment link buy now button and now this button is generated with custom code and I'm gonna click it. Oh, and it wants to know if I wanna associate the payment with the existing customer. If I click it again, it will just process a new charge. Okay, and here we are on Stripe checkout with bank contact and ideal. Okay, so that is how you add a Stripe payment link to add alternative payment methods like bank contact and ideal to your Webflow website using either a Stripe payment link or custom Stripe checkout code. Again, you can try it with the Stripe payment link. They're super cool. And if you need more flexibility, you can use custom Stripe checkout code and you can make that directly in paid members app.